Excuse you, sirs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hello friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is K-pop with Khadija. I am Khadija and we're about to watch some K-pop. Today's reaction is a very special one because it is another Patreon request. For the last couple weeks, I have been here home alone. My family's out of town. The kids are in school. So I just have the whole day to film and film and film and film. And that's what I've been doing. And as part of this little period, of time I decided to do one request directly from patreon every single day so today's request is coming in from Gina who has been a wonderful part of the patreon community and a great friend Gina has been watching everything with me and commenting and sharing thoughts and sharing extra information about the videos or the groups or whatever and I love that so much and Gina sent a couple different suggestions, but the ones that I'm gonna be reacting to today are videos from peak time. So also on Patreon, we just started binge watching Boys Planet and I'm having so much fun with that. But at the time that Boys Planet was airing and I was like, oh, I wanna see it. Like, I know I'm so late finally watching it now but at the time I was like oh I want to watch this and then another patron morale was like there's another show called peak time which is really interesting because it's idol groups that have already debuted like they're already out there doing the thing but then they go on this show I guess to like promote their groups more or whatever the case is and I think that's really 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 interesting because watching Boys Planet I keep commenting that like you can see the difference between trainees who are kind of a little bit more new versus the people who are part of groups that have already debuted or like they kind of have already been out there I mean Hui in particular on that show like it is night and day to me it is night and day when he does his stages versus when like a newer trainee does theirs like the trainees on boys planet are so talented like unbelievably talented but it's just different when you have actively already debuted you've been performing you've been promoting you've been out there like on stages in front of audiences with your fans like screaming your name that's just it's a different level of artistry that people develop Develop. you can't practice that it just has to come from doing it and so I'm really interested to see these groups on peak time where it's like I think I don't even know a lot of the groups that are on the show like I've never seen these groups before so I don't really know like how good or not good they are but yeah I'm just I'm very curious to kind of see them competing in the in the context of a competition but like they're seasoned debuted artists so the two videos that Gina recommended one is a dance performance by team C combined dancers from k-pop and solo idols Vanner Bay 173 BLK and Moon Jung up to the song bad Gina says it is legitimately steamy slash smoldering and playful warning okay <laughs> I've been warned I will say I've seen clips of Vanner before and I was like who are they who are they so that's interesting and then the other one is a powerful and beautiful vocal performance by team D five of the top vocal singers on the show from dignity mask ghost nine and BXB I don't know any of those groups at all so I'm yeah I'm just really interested and curious to see those and check out these peak time performances everyone in the comments down below say thank you Gina for sending this request in and for supporting the K-pop with Khadija channel. I appreciate you so much. And yeah, I'm really excited to check out these videos. Okay, so we're gonna do the dance performance first. Hey, clean. Hey, hey, hey. You run them over ever since the start of the end. Wow. Oh, my God. They're so smooth. Woo. Oh, my God. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Get it. Hey. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Is that is that the guy from Banner? Hey, hey. Oh. They're so good. I can't even. Ooh. Get it. Get it. Hey. Get it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Jeez, um... So... Hey... Excuse you, sirs! Get it, get it, ayy. What the hell? Yeah, zip up your shirt, sir. Ooh, yes, just subtle, sharp, clean. Oh my god. Yo, they look like synced. They are so synchronized. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. How? How? How can you possibly judge a show like that? How can you watch all these people who are so good at what they do already and then have them together like what I, I can't I actually cannot wrap my head around it. I can't because they're so good. Like that performance was there was nothing in that that I would have been like, oh, you know, like it's pretty good, except maybe they needed to do this a little more. Maybe they could have. It was perfect. All the movements were sharp. They were clean. They were synchronized. They flowed. There was a smoothness to it. It didn't feel difficult at all. They were all together. Their energies matched each other. They had so much charisma, like performance right you're not just doing a bunch of moves but like you're artists and you're performing and you're giving like an emotional kind of intention oh my gosh so good and this is the dance performance like what what are the vocals gonna sound like oh no oh i'm not ready oh mm, i guess i'm ready okay let's watch the next video so this next one is team d doing vocals Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh, it just flows out of them. Wow. Wow. Oh, that tone is rich. Full. Wow. 
he is giving a whole performance. Like every head, every hand. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. Emotion. Oh. Okay. This is a great performance. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh my gosh oh so cute we did it good job guys we did it oh wow and even that right like that little moment because everything up until then it was perfect performance it didn't need to be a lot they weren't being super dramatic and doing the most but just a mic stand some beautiful lighting they're facing different directions and something as simple as turning your head this way and then coming back and putting a hand up here like it's just so much intention and the song ends and they're still in it and then you see the moment that the performance like is officially done but these are the types of things that like a lot of newer artists like idols who are trainees or even rookies sometimes they look a little bit awkward like if i don't have choreography to do i don't know what to do like what do i do with my hands where do i look what do i do but like when you have been doing it you've been doing it for such a long time these are the things that you develop right you learn how to embody your artistry in every moment even if it is a ballad and there's nothing choreographed you're still performing in like when it goes down to your fingertips and the bottom of your foot like it's a performance so cool yeah if there's any group from the show that you really really love and watching it you're like yes i love this group so much whatever let me know put it in the comments down below like i said i i've never seen anything from any of those groups that gina mentioned so I think I'm missing out. I'm probably missing out on some underrated groups who there's a reason they're on peak time. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know who I should check out from this show and subscribe to my channel so you can watch more videos with me and comment and say thank you, Gina, for this request. Uh, I'm getting down to the last couple of days that I have to do Patreon requests, but I think I've been really, really enjoying seeing the videos that everyone is recommending. So I'm going to keep the post on my Patreon. It's pinned to the top of my page. So when this video comes out, go to Patreon. And if you want to give me a request, I might not get to it right away, but I do want to do some more Patreon requests. So let me know what videos you want me to watch and I'll just choose from the comment section over there. And this is just my way of saying thank you to the people who are supporting the channel and supporting me and helping me to be able to continue filming videos and editing and kind of spending my time creating content for this channel. So yeah. All right, y'all, that is enough for today. Thank you so much once again for being here and hopefully I will see you next time for more K-pop with Khadija. Bye.